peace be with you. And welcome to our Danish Lutheran Church on this third Sunday in Advent. I dag er det tredje søndag i Advent, og vi skal tænde tre lys i Adventskransen. This Sunday is all about the light that shines in the darkness. Today we will light up the darkness uh, with our very first Christmas greeting. And it's a Lucia greeting because today is December 13th, also known as Lucia Day. So we'll celebrate Santa Lucia according to the Danish tradition. The legend tells us that Lucia was a good Christian girl and she lived in the year 300 and she helped out and supported poor people, starving people, and, well, simply people in need of help. She would walk out and reach out, even in the darkness. And when she walked out at night, she needed a candle to light her way. But Lucia thought, if I hold a candle in one hand, then I can only help with the other one. So she put candles in a wreath and placed it on her head. And now she could reach out to people and help them with both hands. Today, we have received a special Christmas card from the Nygaard Carter family all the way up in Alaska. Enjoy. Now it's time for a real Christmas story. 
It was a cold and dark winter's afternoon in a dense forest in Germany. The old pastor, Martin Luther, did not notice the sun slowly setting and the sky growing dark. His thoughts were on his Christmas sermon that he was preparing that afternoon. The forest soon came alive with the night sounds of owls, wolves, and other wild creatures. Pastor Luda shivered. He pulled his cloak tighter around his shoulders. And then he quickened his pace, saying a little prayer just for comfort as he went. The forest grew darker. And Pastor Luther walked along, continuing to pray that he would not cross paths with a wild animal. He glanced up to see the night sky filled with tiny spots of light, twinkling gold and silver. What could they be? Stars, Pastor Luda said suddenly, as he realized what he was seeing. Lights from heaven to guide and comfort me, just as the star led the wise men to the stable that very first Christmas night. What a splendid theme for my Christmas sermon. Old Pastor Luda smiled up at the twinkling sky, he was no longer afraid. Feeling safer, Pastor Luther looked around for a small tree he could take home for Christmas. He found a little young fir tree, pulled it up, and dragged it with him through the forest all the way home. At last, old Pastor Luther was safe home. He quickly prepared the little fir tree hoping to surprise his family. Hmm, he said, as he noticed the candle holder at the table. Soon Martin Luther called his family in so he could tell them all about his long walk through the dark and dangerous forest. Everyone gasped at the sight of the little fir tree. Pastor Luda had placed the tree upright in a pot, high on the table, and the candles had been removed from the candle holder. Now, as the very first Christmas tree lights in history, they flickered from the tree's delicate branches, just as the stars had flickered through the forest to guide Pastor Luda. Now the family gathered around as Luda told them what had happened earlier that day. Just as I was getting very frightened, I saw the stars twinkling through the trees as if God himself was saying, don't be afraid for I am with you always. And then I realized the theme for my Christmas sermon. God's light shines through the darkest night for everyone. But sometimes we have to look up to see it. Now let's go out and get our very own Christmas tree. en surrey, og jeg har taget min tommestok med, for vi skal fælde juletræ i dag. Det er en særlig dansk familietradition at tage ud og fælde et juletræ. Og derfor er vi her hos dig, Manfred. Morgen, ja. Manfred. Morgen. <laughs> og Manfred, for, for alt... hvad er det for et træ, vi har? Det er Nordmannsgræn. Ja. Og det er seks fod. Ja. Og det er hvert år vokser det så meget. Et år, to år. Og det er omkring 9-10 år gammelt. Ja. 
Og, øh, det... og alting bliver målt i fod og inches her, selvom øh, ja, det egentlig er det, gået det, over det er... til Imperial. Men tror du ikke, det er omkring 6 det, fod? Det er 6 fod, og det er omkring uh, 1, 2, 4, så er der ja. det er omkring. Og det er det, vi skal have. Okay. Yes, det er det, vi tager. Så tager vi det. Yes. Okay. Det er fornemt. Tak. Og det er så let. <laughs> Skal vi tage, tage det på nakken? Jeg tager det på nakken. Jeg har min kander, der venter. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hvor lang tid har du solgt juletræer, Manfred? Uh, 20. 30 år. Ja. Nej, ja. Måske 20. Ja. De, to, um, de første syv år jeg kunne jeg ikke tælle nogen. Jeg ved. Men jeg begyndte at plante dem omkring 90. Ja. 1990. Og nu har vi taget i det her. Hvor gammelt er det, tror du? 9, 9 år, 10 9 år. år. Det tager 9 I år kan, at lave kan tælle, i, Du kan tælle ringene. Ja, <laughs> du går i gang med at tælle det. Ja. <laughs> tak for det, Mandler. <laughs> okay, det var også lidt. Tak. It is said that Martin Luther, the man who reformed the church, and is the reason why this church is called Danish Lutheran Church. It is said that he once took a walk and found the very first Christmas tree on a starry night. He looked it up and was overwhelmed by the sky full of stars. And I'm sure that you have all tried to look up into a starry night. It makes you feel small, doesn't it? But not in a bad way. More like small in a humble way. It must have been the same feeling people had the very first Christmas night. And they all followed the star, feeling overwhelmed, feeling small, in a humble and thankful way. And even today, we get that feeling when we see a beautiful Christmas tree full of lights. And even today, we try to pass on this feeling to others by illuminating our houses, decorating with, with stars and candles, just like Luther himself did. We place a star on the top of our Christmas tree to keep reminding each other that God's light shines through the darkest night for everyone. We just have to look up to see it. And this is the word of the Lord today. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. Lyset skinner i mørket, men mørket greb det ikke. Now we have all heard it. So onward then, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lad os nu sammen bede vort fader for. Let us all pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory 
forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glædelig tredje søndag i Advent.